Hello everyone, First and Josh Plays back with another video. Today we're going to show you the upgraded version of our automatic ancient debris tunnel bore. So to trigger it, you place a redstone block on this block here, and it'll start automatically, launch the TNT, explodes it and moves on. The timings are nearly perfect, or perfect in this case, that it'll just continuously run. The way you stop this tunnel bore is either break this piston or break this redstone block. I'm going to break this piston now to show you. And you can place it back and it'll start the bore again. Again you can break the redstone block and it will stop the bore. Now for a quick tutorial. First what you're going to want to do is get to where you're mining. If you're mining in the nether, I don't really recommend this tunnel bore, but you can still use it anyway. Then what you're going to do, gonna want to do, is place two blocks out, place a piston, then make sure you've got a wall in your inventory, because walls are good, walls are poggers. Place a couple blocks out, place your wall, and then place an observer behind it. Then place another couple blocks out. And place a piston facing towards the wall. Now you place another block here, place an observer facing towards the piston and then an observer facing upwards. Now get yourself some honey, place the honey on top of this observer and place your dispenser. I've got some items in here, which is TNT already in here. Then get yourself some slime, put the slime on top Put a block here, and then put a slab on top. This is the engine, and then this is where the TNT lands. Now we're going to do, place two blocks of honey outwards, and then place a sticky piston here, with a slime block on its face, and another one, with a slime block on its face. Then place an observer, facing upwards, into this slime block. Now, what you want to do is place a sticky piston here with a slime block on its face, with another sticky piston and a slime block on its face. And then you're going to start going upwards with sticky piston, slime block, sticky piston, slime block, and then you're at the top. Now we're going to place some observers in. Your first observer will go out this way. Oops. We'll go out here, facing inwards, and then the rest of them will just go on the side like this. First one here. Oh, no, that's a... There we go. Now place your redstone block up top with an observer facing in to the side. This doesn't have to be glass, I don't think. But I'm going to use glass anyway because my friend designed it that way. Place another redstone block here. Now place a piston. A sticky piston facing backwards and a piston going forwards. Then another redstone block, another observer, another glass block and another redstone block. We then place a piston facing outwards. Sticky piston going back into this and then a piston facing outwards, but we're not going to place that, we're going to place the piston here, and then place the redstone block after. So, this is the complete bore. What we, we, oh, never mind, it's not. We need to place an observer here, and a piston. If we didn't do that, it would probably blown up, if I'm honest with you. So now, place your redstone block in, and it should work. Oh, I've done something wrong already. Oh yeah, I forgot an observer. We're going to place that observer here. There we go. Now you have a working tunnel bore. You can use this in the overworld. You can use this in the, in the nether, but it's not efficient enough. You might as well use one TNT every other block. But I don't have that designed yet. So do what you will in the overworld with this. If you're going to place this tunnel bore, 
I recommend placing it a couple of blocks above bedrock so you get the entire area of the, di of the best area of diamonds. But that's about it. This will work in the ancient debris layers of the world and will work in versions that don't have 1.18 or 1.19 in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help out my channel. Check out the person who designed this delay. His name's It's Caleb on YouTube. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye!